is breaking news. And we start with that breaking news. We have now learned a teen killed in a school parking lot is a student at Legacy High School. And the shooting happened on the Leadership and Legacy campus on the city's east side. News ace Camila Fernandez has been at the scene all night, all afternoon. And Camila, there are still a lot of questions about what exactly happened. That's right. Right now, I'm outside Kip Indy Legacy High, close to where the shooting happened. Details are still limited. IMPD says two, the two individuals were both teen boys. Sadly, the victim, who was a student at the school, succumbed to his injuries. School officials say the student was walking home at the time of the shooting, which was at around 1 p.m. Police say the suspect was arrested at a different location, but they wouldn't say exactly where. Police, however, were able to confirm that the suspect was not a student at the school. IMPD also says there was a disturbance there, but they would not confirm if the disturbance was connected to the shooting. Police say they are saddened to see this type of crime continue to happen. I'm frustrated. This is absolutely unacceptable. It's unacceptable that as a community, we've had conversations about youth violence all week, and this is how our week ends. School officials have informed me that they are in touch with the student's family, and they're also planning on having on-site support for students and staff on Monday following this tragic incident. They also said that the safety of their entire school community is their top priority. I also tried speaking with parents off school property, but they would not allow us to speak with them. However, some were able to tell us that the school did not tell them that a shooting had occurred. They were only informed that an incident had happened. Uh, via text and email. They gave the community uh, about an hour ago details of the incident via their Facebook page. I'm Camilla Fernandez for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook. All right, Camilla, thank you. Mayor Joe Hawks had also issuing a statement this afternoon in response to the shooting. Uh, he says this afternoon's shooting of an Indianapolis teen is another example of the horrific combination of access to firearms and a failure of conflict resolution. No young person should have to worry about gun violence, let alone near a school.